composting Pete here. We're gonna quickly set up a Worm Factory 360. I like this tool for worm gardening. It's nice for opening your box too. And so we take a look at what we got in here. We are going to pull out the Worm Factory basic instructions. Uh, this is what we're gonna build first. And we only need one tray. It comes with some far, a little scraper to help clean your bin when the time comes. And so we're gonna start off, first of all, by putting in our spigot. And of course, this one didn't come with a spigot. Here it is. They always come with spigots. Uh, it comes on the same direction that you're gonna put it in. So we'll just screw that in real quickly. I like to go finger tight here and then just give it a little spin there we go that is closed that is open close open and there's two ways you can open it the next is we put in our little worm ladder in case the worms fall through because we have these holes uh, they can escape back into our bin which would be great to have and we're gonna start with one tray, but when this system is operational, we have three trays. So we're gonna start it off for success. We've got some aged leaves that are about six months old, and I'm gonna take a real generous handful and put that in here for our bedding. This gives them something to run to in case it's hot or cold. You can see it's a pretty good weight and a pretty good amount. So that's really our first step and we're gonna get our bin fed. We've got some nice pulp. I mixed it with leaves just to help sop up any of the, any of the debris, any of the moisture. And typically we like to feed this once a week on one half of the bin so we can track to see how our worms are doing. So that looks pretty good. Get a nice little close up of that. There's our food. And then here's a little trick that we've got for harvesting worms. So if you come over here, not everyone has uh, these beautiful bins that will separate it out for you. So sometimes you've got to separate it yourself and you can see the worms kind of want to go to the bottom. So then we can just catch them. That's about all we got in that one. Uh, here is a worm cocoon. So that's a good sign. Those will be four new baby worms before too long. Let's see what we got at the bottom of this one. So you see that? Look at that. We can kind of grab all these worms, stick them right into our worm pile. There's some more worm eggs. So that's all great. And we'll try one more of these. We'll see how the flower pot works. See they are, there they all are at the bottom. So that's a quick way to get your worms harvested and in a bin. Uh, we really encourage you to share your worms. These were all shared by volunteers. And that's what we need for one worm bin. And our final piece is our bin comes with a little bag of paper, which is our bedding. And whenever we feed, we wanna make sure it's covered with this bedding. So when you no longer have bedding to cover your feeding, that's when you would add more bedding because they eat that too. So this bin is all ready to be started. What we're gonna wanna do though, is feed this for a couple months. And once it gets full, we're gonna take off some of the unbroken down stuff, put it in tray number two. That'll have a lot of the worms and you can see the holes, and we stick on number two. And then eventually we're gonna be in full operation with number three on top. And at that point, it becomes a, one of these methods. If you ever play that game with your kid, when the time comes, we'll take this lid off. We can set down our working tray, the middle tray, and then this tray is going to be beautiful permacompost, which I'll show you what that'll look like. It's a different stacking system. 
but the same idea and you get this beautiful black fertilizer. This is just a little bit wet, uh, but still beautiful and great. So I hope that was helpful and happy worm composting.